Right, g'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're at the footy fest. Great day, great turnout and we're going to be exposing fake footy fans. It's testing their... We're going to be testing their AFL knowledge today, seeing whether they are a real fan or a fake fan. Let's go. Alright, we're here with Blake, uh, definitely a Collingwood fan. Um, and we're going to be testing his knowledge. Who's number one for Collingwood? Alabinski. Bang, there you go, he gets the 10 cents. There you go. Who wears... Number 40 for Collingwood. Ash Johnson. Bang. Bang. There he is. Gets a 20 cents. He's a true fan. He's a true fan. Or double or nothing. Double or nothing. Oh, oh no. Here we go. Here we, here we, here we do. <laughs> this is what we're all about. So, for 40 cents total, what were the final scores in the 2010 grand final draw? Oh, it was either 58 or 68 all, I reckon. I'm going to go 58 all. Oh no, it was 68. It was the 68. Oh. Who do you support, uh -oh. by the way? Sydney Swans. Sydney Swans. I'm a 20 year member of the Sydney Swans. Go Swans. Errol Gordon robbed as well, by the way. So that is true. That is very true. Guys had a shocker on Brownlow night. Yeah. Let, me, let me just put that on the record. Oh, no. Who won the 2012 Norm Smith medal? 2012 Norm Smith medal. That was. We won that. That was Ryan O'Keefe. Bang, bang. Oh, he's got you it. have okay. Habby's, Habby's a real fan. Keep looking. Keep there you looking. go. We'll, keep, we'll continue the hunt. <laughs> Alright, we're here with Jared, Carlton super fan. Mate, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Good day, so. Yeah, alright. So we are testing his ball knowledge, seeing if he's a fake fan or not. Now, can I just ask, who won the 1995 Norm Smith medal? I don't know that. It's my team. That's a bit embarrassing. Um, I've got no clue. I think it was Greg Williams. I actually do think it was. That is that is yeah. poor ball goal. If you don't get this right, yeah. you should never watch a Carlton game again. How many premierships have Carlton won? Yeah, okay, easy. Who did Carlton beat in the 2013 elimination final? Uh, Richmond. Bang, bang, we got a true fan. Right. We got a true bang. fan. Right here. We are here with James Martin. Marto234, as some of you may know him. Can you name four players? That have played for both GWS and Essendon. Andrew Phillips, Dylan Shield, Jai Caldwell, and I was about to say Adam Saad. That's not right. Setterfield. There you go. Can you name another one that's retired? Devin Smith. Who kicked the first goal of the 2019 yeah, Grand Cameron. Final? Wow, who really knows it? Jeremy Cameron. The ball knowledge is smoking. insane. This is a bit of a random one, but before the Dacos brothers, who was the last pair of brothers to make an All-Australian team together? Last pair of brothers to make an All-Australian team? Yeah. But can I have a clue? Who did they play for? Or who did one that, of them play that for? That would give it away. They both played for, oh, the, they both played they for, the, both same played for the same team. I would say one is like pretty big in the media. Okay, next hint is one of the brothers who's in the media. He's known for his... Oh, cool. Weird takes. Kane and Chad Corns. Well done, he's got it. Yeah! Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, who are we here with? Josh. Who do you go for? Essendon. Oh, here we go. We've got some, some Essendon supporters alike. Oh, if, if your knowledge is as bad as him, yeah. you might struggle. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> who is number 47 for Essendon? Is that, is that Jai Manzi? It is. Bang. Bang, he gets the first one. Billy Bow's over there looking all sad because he's already gotten one more. What number did Matthew Lloyd wear for Essendon? Wasn't it 21? Sure. What did he say? 21. Is it... Is it 18? It is actually 18. There you 18. go. One last one. If you can get the majority of them right, you can have the coin. Which famous Essendon coach also coached the GWS Giants? John Worsbold. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Kevin Sheedy. It's Kevin Sheedy. I don't know that. We're here with the world famous Winx, mad Essendon supporter, as you can see. Still brings his scarf, even though they were belted comfortably in the last couple of rounds. I oh, know, this is a banging question. Who kicked the ball to David Zaharakis when he kicked the winning goal? It, Anzac Day 2009, maybe? 2009, yeah. I want... I don't really have a, like, good idea. And Brent Stanton comes to my mind, but I don't think it... I doubt it's him. Do you want to... Do you want to lock it in? No, uh, yeah? Oh, well, he's wrong. Can, you, can I get a hint? Can I get a hint? Hyphen. Hyphenated. Nathan Lovett-Murray. Bang! 
What was the final margin of round 23, 2023, Essendon versus GWS? I, I know we got fucked, but I don't know. I didn't even watch the game. I'm not going to lie. Oh, there we go. Some fake fan status. I knew we were going to get belted. There was no point watching. Our season was done. That was the one game I did not watch out of the whole season. If you so, could if you could guess. Like, I want to guess 84. He's a fair way off. It was 126, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that pass. Here we go. This is a ripping question. In Essendon's round 24 game against Collingwood this year, what part of a car was on their jersey? What? What part of a car? What More specifically, what part of a car seat? Oh, on the sash. We had a seatbelt on our jersey. Bang. 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 I already... Oh, no. I didn't give away the 20 cents. He gets the 20 cents. Even though it was... There were some dodgy answers in there, but he got one right, so... Oh. Oh. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We have just proved scientifically that there are more fake fans than not, really, in this footy world. So the next time you are talking to a football fan... Don't trust them. Don't, don't trust me. their don't, knowledge. Don't ask me two questions about a game I don't know. <laughs> I will. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you in the next one. Well, there's a big, big sound.